In today's video, I coached an immortal player who struggles with confidence. Okay. Yeah, try peeking Huka, and again, you have to be quick with those decisions. Please you get jump peek it. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. That's what I like seeing. Now, I know a lot of you guys on my comments struggle with this exact same thing. No matter if it's gaining the confidence to peek an angle, or simply just having confidence to talk to your crush. Well, I can't really teach you that, but I'm sure you'll get her next coming Valentine's Day. <laughs> Anyways, with this player that I coached, he learned a lot more than just to be confident. You might need to watch till the end to find out what happens. Lastly, you guys have been killing it with leaving a like in these videos recently, so I'm giving away $100 to 5 of you guys who comment down below your favorite skin. I'm gonna be honest with you, Arjax Vandal is probably the best. Silence. Stay inside. Gone. There's one back. One oh, nice. enemy remaining. Nice, you're nice. I won't kill. Yeah, I know. Anyways, enjoy the video, guys. Peace! You were Diamond 1, you'd say, two months ago when I coached you? Yeah, it was about three. Three months ago? And now what rank are you? Uh, D3 just got kicked out of Immortal. So there, there's improvement there, and you said that my tips helped? Yeah, yeah, I, t I took what you said. Even though it was a bad game, like, you still gave tips that helped me out a lot. Wait, let's, let's look at that career real quick, though. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> That's not that bad. Loki, you got, you got wins. But, look, look, I literally see demons in here I've never seen before. Like, this is my first game as Immortal, and I literally got stomped. Bro, there's a guy named I Miss Her, bro. You might as well just, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but, so yeah. you usually fill, I guess, right? Yeah, I play only female agents. Female agents. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. We'll see if I actually improved a lot from last session. We'll see if I see more mistakes. Good luck. Enemy Yo, wall up. Push in while it's up. Wall down. Wall down. Wall down. Could be flanking. Uh... All right, I'm out, fellas. Wall down. Hmm. Loki, I think he should have committed that. Not gonna lie, man. Reloading. So, uh, what are you, what are you thinking there? What's your thought process? That my sky is really stupid for not rotating with this. I don't know. We're kind of screwed. Uh, I didn't pick up my orb, which I probably should have on A before I left. But yeah. I honestly think you commit the A there because you already had sight, you know. The jet was kind of screwing with our team too much, and I did not know where she was at the time. Like I knew she was back here somewhere, but yeah, once that wall but went down, like you, I you yeah, had, you're probably right though. yeah, you had like no smoke for B, you know, so you kind of had the disadvantage, and you had sky left on A. She probably had a flash left. She got a flash to your viper wall. And you could have swung it. What's this wall? It's a good wall, actually. Toxins going up. Kind of uh, interesting repositioning here. Blank. Yeah, I mean, you had a molly, you know? And you positioned yourself in the open. Oh, like, you could have just put an orb there. You didn't have one. You could have easily just mollied and just hit okay. backside. That's that's actually like really important. You can't I don't know, you can't be dying like that because yeah, now you're asking for a buy and your eco is gonna be messed up. Yeah, it's just those little things you gotta watch out for. It's just the next step for like radiant immortal. Fall down. Last player standing. Spike down A. Yikes. Yeah, so you need to be going in with them. The opportunity where Sky flashed through that Viper wall is also your opportunity to go with her. Or you went with your jet there, swung with your jet, would have been easier. Plus you have Viper wall, right? Once you get a kill, you can have your Viper wall up and you can go back A main if you really wanted to. Yeah, that was like not the play. But you got rest. Holy <laughs> Did you did you look at the your map? Here? No, I, I didn't know that anyone saw him. Okay, so yeah, I looked at your map. I saw a red arrow like behind the viper wall, and you kind of just pushed through. I think that's just a matter of being aware there. But I mean, honestly, that was also, also like a really dumb play. Like you shouldn't be pushing through your viper wall like that towards McDonald's. Try not to go for your kills, you know, like aggressive kills, because that's what's losing you this game, you know. I like this. I think he mollies bomb here and he plays. Oh, perfect. Oh, he a Viper main for real. Well. 
perfectly played, executed. Actually? Um, there's a moment where you're looking at the vibe or like the floor for like yeah, five I seconds. To, I was trying to just get more area, like you can see better if you look at the floor like that. Wait, what? What do you mean? Yeah. You, like if you look like this, you get more area. It's just like the Euro ult. Like if you look down, you get more, like you can see further. Sure, you should coach me, bro. I didn't even know that. Also, be careful of halls too. You guys don't have anything for halls. You guys got flank last time. Oh my god, I saw him in the smoke. Oh yeah, don't be afraid with mollies to, to clear stuff too. Always try to molly back sight or back right. Alright, alright. This is a perfect round to criticize. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to be peeking that common angle there, you know? You know what I mean? Like, you could easily just jump peek and see if they cross out, you know, and play off of your teammate rather than making a solo play and peeking. You know what I mean? Yeah, plus, plus your Viper, you could hold flank. You don't, you weren't really doing anything. If you, if you watch that round back, you weren't doing anything except sitting back, basically doing nothing. All you have to do with Viper is put your wall up and watch flank for your team because all you have to do is just put your wall up for them, you know? One, one mid doors. Oh, if he walks up now. Go, 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 go. One enemy remaining. Usually, I would have been faster at that. I would have just walked through. I, I, just, I just didn't know where the chamber played his trip at first. I usually try to, like, if it's like an eco run, I'll probably just, like, test that out, too. Oof. Chamber, mid doors. You don't always have to take uh, mid after you get a pick. That goes for everything, right? You don't always have to take a place after you get a kill there. You, know, you can always fall back towards A main, go back with your teammates, and you know, make the round a lot easier for you to win. I'm gonna be honest, like, team's getting hella cocky right now because it's the 4v5, so like, everyone's just running it down right now. Nah, you're right, you're right. I I'm just saying for future game, if you make that mistake and oh, yeah, oh well, well, all good. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Well, um, Damn, you can go in another game to be honest. For real? Alright. Yeah, go for it. Fortnite stream, Fortnite stream, Fortnite. Chat's freaking out about Fortnite, bro. Actual Fortnite kids. Ooh. Oof. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay. I'm good with it. You're good with it. Oh shit, yo. What the fuck? Probably five stacking. You know, they're gonna go B. I promise you they'll go B. Yeah. Um, guys, I think we effed up. Let's just go back. They're already on site. They're already out. Okay, I'll try for info. I've never done that before. You guys wanna come back? Um, nah, I mean, as you like keep playing, like you'll learn how to hold tighter angles. You should probably like put yourself towards B, you know? Like with Jet, you, you should literally just keep peeking Kuka or, or B long. Like once you don't see anything, then you rotate. It's so it's so easy. It's hard to dash to the right with the keybind I have. For uh, E? For e yeah, you got the... yeah, it's you put your middle finger on. On E and then press D. Should have it pre placed, like just in case. And yeah, 100%. Also, like, I wouldn't have walked walked into that shit. I would have just swung that shit. You know, you kind of walked in that. Like, if you swing right away, like, they don't expect that shit to. Yeah, unpredictable. But now you can't do it again because they're gonna predict that shit. There's gonna be like two holding you now. Yeah, you need to be peeking something. I mean, like, in the beginning of the round, but they're good now. They're there the whole round just waiting. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start opping and I'm just gonna start hard peeking. Yeah, you just hard peek long at the start, just hold it, you know? So you have more control of the site instead of just sitting on site and holding for their push out. Shower, shower, shower. Nice. Oh. Oh wait. Oh wait. No, he's dead. Did you I just... really thought he killed that right now. Oh! oh! 
Ooh. I literally thought you killed the Reyna. No, but you killed the KO. You killed the KO. Damn. <laughs> yeah, the KO expired. Wait, wait, Chamber, do you wanna you wanna use your ult this round and give me your up? Um, I'll give it back to you next round. That's actually hella smart. If he doesn't give you his up. Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Peek long or hookah, which one do you want? And they don't have a solo too, so you don't have to worry about like a dart. I was muted the whole time. Fuck me. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, last one CT. CT Marshal only. Count only as a Marshal. Probably gonna have up now. Yeah, as up, as up. Okay, so with that, like, you know, after you got that first pick, you can jiggle again and then repeat, you know, and you still have control of long. Or, I mean, like, yeah, you could have fell back and after you, you missed that shot on raise, I don't know why you repeat the same angle, you know, again with unpredictability with jet. I just thought I, just thought I was being like even like hella, like really aggressive after I got KO knives and I was still peeking it. But luckily I just was able to jump back. And there's also no reason for you to be putting four on A when you got an op on A already. Now just stay where you are. Those 30 seconds are so huge because you could have peaked hookah now. Got info early, so Vidar didn't see anything, so. Frito, thank you for the prime, appreciate that. Uh, should I anchor here? Yeah, he needs to stop leaving B. No gap. One enemy remaining. Either elbow or long. Or shit disabled. You see what I mean though? Like, you peek Kuka mid round there, or early round, and you don't see anything, you could literally just push up market and just sit market and wait for them to come back to you. You would have prevented them from playing bomb and getting, like, you know, bomb done. Like with Jet, just don't be afraid to play aggressive because you have dash, you know, and you have to get used to that um, dashing to the right thing so you can get away. It's it's so free, I'm telling you. Or like, don't be afraid to jump spot too. Like if you know, if you think they're opping, then yeah, you could just jump spot hookah as well. Have you ever gotten into a fight? No, I don't fight people. I only fight Valorant people. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm so lame. All right, he sees nothing, showers. You should run. Enemy spotted B. Spike planted. Fuck. One enemy remaining. Yeah, so your team is like God. Like you guys are like pretty good. Like dude, I just try just try Man, jiggling hookah or something. I wanna see how that works. Because you're putting like three on A and there's like no reason for that, you know? Yeah, so they can op here, so just be careful of that. So by juggling like you mean like You could jump peek that. it or you can just swing it, it's up to you. Whatever you want. Okay, he doesn't have to repeat though. Ray's never gave up. I don't know. Cross replacement was bad. I, I, I probably could have got him. Like, after you destroy the util, you don't always have to peek that. Like, you got your information. You knew two were there. And then you just ran back. Like, that's the whole point of it. Just to get information. Like, if you, if you were going to peek, like, yeah, you're going to have to kill them, obviously. But the whole point there is just to get info. So, as a jet, there's a point where, like, you can you don't have to always be aggressive. Like, you can just play passive. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I like how you gave it up. Like, you gave up Puka and 
waited for him to push you. That was pretty smart, but I think he just got timing on that jump up. Is having two ops bad? Or like, is it alright? No, no, no. With this current meta, chamber, in jet, like, <laughs> there's always gonna be double ops, so. Uh, I, oh, I don't know if I should be okay. Kuzu again. Um, speaking. doing well, community coaching probably later today, and then community 10 minutes if you guys are interested. I got choked on Mountain Dew. One still long. <coughs> Almost just died on stream. Holy fuck. Okay, okay. Okay. Hey, yo. <laughs> Aiden? Yo. Oh, nice. There you go. This is what I like seeing. Yeah, I'm seeing like a lot of like early round stuff. Like your chamber's offing long and you just off on site, which is not, it's not bad. But in higher elo, like with a coordinated five stack or like people who know what they're doing, they're just going to jump on you and you know, you're probably only be going to be good for one. That's why the aggressiveness is not always bad. Like just jump swinging hookah or just like holding an angle hookah, breaking the raise bot hookah, like it's not always a bad thing to do. Okay, yeah, try peeking hookah. And again, you have to be quick with those decisions. Is you asking if you should have peeked hookah, you know, you should just... Be quick with it. Do you think I jump peek it? Um, you can, or you could just swing it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I like seeing. There you go. Yup. Gonna get KO flashed. What the fuck? He's dead. He's dead. Elbow, elbow, oh, one on sight. Elbow sight, elbow Oh, never mind, he's dead. Both on sight. Fuck, I was in a horrible position. I did not know the omen died. Yeah, it's just a matter of, like, awareness there. I saw that the omen died. Alright, there's an omen flash that came from CT, and then the omen died from Sova. I just think that, like, was that kind of a flick? I don't even know. What? The when I jump spotted the arena? No, no, that was... Took your time with her shot. But that was perfect. You got, you got the kill, you dash away, and then you peeked long. That was actually... Really perfect. You see what that does though, right? It, you get a kill and it like prevents them from pushing so fast. Even Easy. if I whiffed, I could have dashed and I got the info. Yeah, and you still got the info too. It's great. Rather than <clears throat> just sitting on site and like doing nothing, right? Just holding for their push. This is gonna help me out a lot again because like, as when I usually do play jet, like on Breeze, I'm only holding site. I don't ever go aggressive. Like on Breeze, I don't ever like try to peek elbow real quick or anything. I, I'm always passive. Mm -hmm. That's how Tens drops like 30s and shit because he's always like going for plays. And he has 50 ping so no one can kill him. <laughs> Ping, bro. I'm weak. Skull emoji. Right here. Enemy spotted. 15 seconds on the clock. You gotta do something. Go. <clears throat> so? Um. All I gotta say is I got mine. Hmm, I mean, like, no, you, nah, nah, yeah, no. nah. <laughs> so much I could have done. There was a lot you could have done. What do you mean, dude? Yeah, I, said, I, said, I said there was so much I could have oh, done. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I could have pushed in Huku my team instead of just sitting back here or not Huku. Yeah, you sat short for like a minute, bro. Like, and then you pushed after the 15 seconds. Like, what are you. What's up, John? Oh. Oh my! Nah, bro, oh. you just swing from. Do hey, you don't you don't drop down from the fountain and swing. You swing yeah, where you can dash away. True. All right, what's the thought process here? What do you? I entry. You entry. All right, but. Yo, boys, ready? Never mind. They're using all their util. They're gonna have no util for B rotate. I did not notice there was. I thought there was just one elbow peeking. Nah, bro. Like you saw three there. They wasted all the util, and you know this bomb was in your spawn, right? I mean, at least I did. You know this bomb was in the spawn. Easy ran back A and taking A, bro. True. I, I even predicted it. Like they're gonna have nothing on A, but I just don't listen to myself. Over. With Jet too, you could also make plays. You know, you could also lurk and stuff. Every once in a while, not every round, but. This is a very losable game, you know, 9-3. The curse is uh, indeed real. Yeah. Yeah. I'll find them. That's where most jet mains struggle on offense side. Reloading. There we go. There you go. Alright, let's rotate. What? Let's rotate, let's rotate. There's at least two here. There's at least two here. Just leave, just leave. I 
think smoke could have been utilized there. Last player standing. Holy crap. Caught for a rotate and they still push. I think he runs here. There's literally going to be no one on B. Well, now he's going to be CT now since he's taking his time. 30 seconds left. Okay. No, you guys like not understand like rotate. Like we, we literally had like five v three, and like we had guns now, so like you just like did. I mean, uh, if you're rotating, like you know, Killjoy's on B, or she has a setup on B and everything. So I think, I mean, after you got those two picks, you should have just committed. You know, you're Max and be fighting two, and there's literally two of you short, two of you uh, showers. Like that's just so free. Like you're bound to get traded. I'm not seeing much entering though, key. You guys wanna rotate? Like, we don't get a bomb, so we literally can't push. I got bomb. I got the spike. Hmm. One outside shower. There you go. E player left. I'm not. Oh, 80. Okay, okay. I like you, how you, you work. Like you like how I didn't dash like straight? Like I, I did this kind of dash? Yeah, it was, it was great. And, like I got info for them? That's great. That's super good. Ooh, I learned that. I need to, I don't know. I haven't seen much entering, you know, it's just like more defaulting stuff. But uh, have you like tried smoking and dashing in once? Uh, the last round was probably the closest I got to it. I'm just scared to do it with all this Killjoy shit. Well, you know where she puts it. She puts one under hookah and then the other one unknown. Alright, let's see what he does this round, I wanna see. Killjoy has control alone. Hello? Okay, now that's free sight. We should probably go. Just rain on sight. Um, another thing with Jet is that you don't always have to smoke and dash out. You know, you know Reyna plays B and you know Killjoy plays B. You know, uh, there's no reason for you to basically stick plant there. You just tap it. Also, like, you have two smokes, right? You could smoke elbow and you could, like, smoke Kuka and then just clear sight, right? And if you if you miss your shot, you could just dash away. You don't always have to, like, use Jet as smoking and dashing in. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of like what he's doing. He knows he's coming from the flank, so he's gonna play Jax. Help! Oh, I don't like what he's doing anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay. no. Hey, I'm telling you, it's those little things, man. Because you're relying on your teammate like that to clutch the run. Like with Jet, like you have to be good for three almost every round, or else you're basically relying on your boys to clutch for you. And just goaded. I actually thought I was on his head, and I'm gonna cap. Just could run away really easy. Oh! I need help. Wait, they killed two? Oh, oh he killed himself. Team. Oh, no, he killed himself here. Yeah. Killjoy's still here. Nice. One enemy remaining. Yeah, so again with entering with Jet, like you don't always have to dash sideways just like that for info. Yeah, I know it's fun. I think I think doing that for for showers info is good, but for round B, I don't know. If you dash inside the smoke if you're gonna do it. Like if you dash like this, like and you smoke ahead of you first, you don't control like where you go most of the time. No, you do. Just make sure you, if you do it, just dash inside of it, the smoke. I should have just left. I should have just left the third team. Uh, if you're gonna you know, like walk that slow, like you have to clear your shit fast because you, you'll get timing like that really easily with Jet. Yeah. But if you're not gonna do that, just smoke in front of you and then just walk out. I think I gained like 16 max here. Yeah, I don't think you rank up here. Yeah. I was right, 16. All good, all good. I mean, I, I think it's possible. I, I just think maybe like the, the offense jet does need some work there. Defense jet is ass. Offense jet, and again with like the defense jet, just more aggressive plays. Offense, more entering, I guess. And don't always have to use your dash for entering. You could always smoke entry, have your gun out, and then dash if Yo. you ever need to get out of a place instead of using it just to like dash in because that's point list sometimes mm, well, i'm just scared once i get immortal again i'm just gonna get absolutely braided on nah no immortals you don't play different against them you have any questions about anything
Do you think my agent pool is too big or too, like, just right? Because I know, like, learning, like, being like Hiko and, like, knowing how to play every goddamn agent in the game, like, can be bad for some people, but, like... I think you just try. Try it out. Try every agent and learn every agent because, like, knowing where Cypher trips and stuff and, like, knowing every or every utility that can be placed at places is really good for you. And, you know, it's pretty good to flex around every agent. Should I... Try to stay away from duelists until I get more comfortable in that range, or just like. Um, fill? Well, when I was in Immortal, you can try to fill and just see what works for you. And if you're losing games on duelists, yes, yeah, so you should probably switch and try smokes and like try being like a, a support, I guess. And let your teammates do it. But if you know, it's all about your play style and what you're comfortable with. And if you know yourself that you can frag and you know in that elo, then try it out. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you a lot for coaching me again. I got you, man. All right, you have a good one. All right. You too. See you later. Peace.